Hello everybody, I hope you're well. I've just read a wonderful book by Catherine Apanovich, who was Richard Whiteley's former partner of over 20 years. It's called Richard by Catherine. Now, they never actually married, but they were partners for many years. And Richard Whiteley, for those of you who don't know, was a British television journalist and presenter. He started his life off as a young person, of course. He went to university, I believe it was Cambridge, and then he worked for ITN as a journalist, going up to Yorkshire TV, where he presented the local news programme, Calendar, and then eventually became a national face of Channel 4, and the first person to appear on Channel 4 TV in the 1980s on a game show called Countdown, which is still going. And he was a presenter who I find absolutely fascinating because he didn't have that star quality that other presenters had. He used to wear these bright jackets and these wonderfully flamboyant shirts and funny coloured ties and he would send himself up which was absolutely great and it was almost like watching a friend and Richard himself wrote an autobiography many many years ago but it was very much a professional one about his professional life as opposed to his personal life but this one here Richard by Catherine it really for me captures the real person the essence of the man and as his partner for over 20 years it talks about who he was as a person, a bit about his private life. It touches briefly upon his own son, James, which doesn't really get a mention at all in his own book. And it's a very emotional book. At the same time, it's not gushing. It actually talks about his pomposity, which I have to say, in some of the earlier shows of Countdown, which is a letters and numbers game, really Sean for I used to think he could be a little bit pompous and he, she talks about that she talks about how he, she used to burst his bubble you know low his ego sometimes which is great but it also talks about how what a modest man he was what, what a man he used to love sending himself up a man he used to sort of make fun of himself mock himself and it just talks about his life it talks about his relationships with different people right up from his childhood right up until his very premature death, premature death a couple of years ago of a sad illness in hospital and it's quite an emotional book and it really to me captures the man his life his relationships with people and it's a very honest book too and it's very well written as i say honest well written it gets to the point not gushing but honest and i really feel that catherine who wrote the book is a very warm person she clearly loved Richard a great deal and she talks about a man who really had no enemies and from having read the book I can see he never did for me I never met Richard myself I saw him once about four years ago outside Harrods anxiously looking at his watch waiting for somebody to arrive and when I was reading the book I thought of him and I've got to say during his final couple of months in hospital reading about it I too almost welled up and became quite tearful because she really captures the real feelings that were going on and reading this book I understood what a warm person he was and how much affection the public had for him so if you want to read an honest book a really well written book and a book I believe written by a lovely a lovely lady who genuinely loved Richard somebody close to him and you want to get the warts and all go out and get this book Richard by Catherine I really apologize if I've pronounce the surname wrongly it's Catherine R. Panovich and she hosts a show I believe on BBC Radio York as well some of you would have seen her in the old days on Emma Dale briefly in EastEnders former actress and now a radio presenter who met, first met Richard at Yorkshire Television so go out and get the book and if you want to read somebody who really was in many ways a real person what you saw was what you got but at the same time a very very intelligent man Go out and get Richard by Catherine. I highly recommend it. And if you're wondering why I'm filming this, filming this all the way in the Australian bush, well, in his later life, in fact, ever since his student days, Australia was Richard Whiteley's first love. So Mr Yorkshire himself, twice nightly Whiteley, we may be as far as you get from his home turf, but his other love was very much Australia. And I want to say a special thank you to Catherine who wrote what I consider a brilliant book. Go out and get it. Thank you.